This video is going to explore some of the accessibility options on the iPad and in particular assistive touch. Go into the settings, into the general and then scroll down till you get to accessibility. And there are a number of accessibility options in the iPad. Some for vision, for hearing, for learning, for physical and, and motor skills which is where assistive touch is. And you can assign a triple click of the home button to turning all of these on and off instead of having to go back to home settings general turning them on and off you can do that by triple clicking the home button so you tap that and then to get them all to function in that way just turn them all on so just by tapping them on and off we'll turn them on and off so i want all of those to be able to be turned on and off by triple clicking the home button so if I now click the home button to go out of that, now triple click the home button. So press it three times in rapid succession. Then I get a menu where I can decide which one of the accessibility options I want to use. And I want to use assistive touch. And that's going to bring up the white square. So let's go back a step and see how do you actually turn assistive touch on. So I want to turn it off at the moment. So triple click and turn it off. So go into settings, into general and accessibility and turn assistive touch on. On. And then you get the ability to create some custom gestures, which we'll look at in a moment. So instead of trying to manipulate your hand to do a four finger swipe or a three finger swipe up or down, if you have trouble with arthritis or you you're missing a finger or one of them doesn't work then you can assign different gestures to help you achieve these functions uh, and you also get this white circle which when you tap it gives you the different options and tapping it anywhere will turn it off and I can move that wherever I want on the screen but it'll stay there until I turn assistive touch off so let's go back to the home screen and look at what it actually does so if I tap that Let's look at, first of all, uh, Siri. I can activate Siri from uh, assistive touch without having to hold down the home button and, and wait for Siri to come up, the microphone to come up. But tapping it here will bring it up immediately. What's the weather today? Here's the forecast today. Thank you. My pleasure, as always. And I can tap anywhere to turn that off. So tapping that white circle, you can get into Siri. I can go to the home button. If I was in the Good Reader app and doing some file management, to get out of an app, you press the home button. Now you can do it here by pressing your assistive touch and home, which is a bit, it may be a bit easier than trying to get your finger to push down on the home button. Uh, into device and you've got a number of things you can do you can turn the volume up or down instead of using the button so if you had trouble with that rocker switch the button you can do that to turn the, the volume up volume down uh, rotate the screen and by tapping that on turning the screen different ways until you're in a portrait until you get it right once I've got it back to where I want it to go Okay, it's right now. So now I can go with the back menu back and lock the rotation. So if you're having now, if I'm turning it around, turning the, the physically moving the iPad, it's not going to move. That's the same as using that lock switch at the top of the iPad. It's a bit easier to use. Uh, you can go to your lock screen and it will lock it completely. Then instead of timing out, it goes straight to the lock screen, turning the home button on and you have to slide to unlock. Now you could create a custom gesture that will do that easier. If you have trouble actually putting your finger on that white thing and, and opening it, you can create some custom gestures. So to do that, you can do it from two spots. You can either go straight into here, into favorites, and hold the plus, and create a new gesture. So if I want the gesture, to go from uh, left to right in a swipe, I just hold my finger on the screen and drag it across. Then stop, 
play that back. I want to simulate this. Then I can save that as a swipe. Swipe right and save. And now I've got a, a list of custom gestures here. I've got one I created before called a flick up. I'm going to create another new gesture which is going to simulate four finger swipe up because that's quite difficult to do. And holding my fingers down, four fingers straight up, stop, play that back. Because you need to do that if you want to open up the multitasking bar, save that and name that one. And now I've got a few um, custom gestures here. If I want to delete them, edit button, and I think I'll delete that one. So let's try it. Go back to that and to the device and lock screen. So effectively it's gone to sleep. To turn it on, I tap the home button to turn it on. Fortunately, you, you have to do that. Instead of sliding to unlock, what I want to do is use my custom gesture. So there's my little white circle. Tapping that favorites and the swipe right gives me a little blue dot if I position that dot over that white one let go it's going to swipe right and turn it on so there may be other places where you want to do that so again it's in the favorites swipe right it's not going to work anywhere else here maybe that's going to be a swipe left so what we need is a swipe left to two be able to turn these uh, switches off. So let's create a new gesture. Uh, when you want to turn that off, the blue dot where, where it's moving, just tapping that will turn it off. Go into favorites, create a new gesture. I want to swipe left. So that way, stop. Play it back to make sure it works. Save and name it swipe left and save. So that if I wanted to turn something on, so here's a do not disturb there. To turn it on you actually have to slide your finger on it, tap it there and slide it. Or you could just do it as a tap. So if I select favorites and a swipe right, get my single position over there and that's going to turn it on. If I want to turn now tap that to turn it off. Now if I want to turn it off, I want to swipe left, position that over there, and let go and it'll turn it off. So if you, you have trouble with your fingers swiping and tapping, then this is one way of helping you. Um, what else does it do? It will um, go into the more. You can take a screenshot. So instead of holding down the home button and the on off switch to take a screenshot. This will take a screenshot of wherever we are. So tapping screenshot, that's taken a screenshot of that screen. And to find my screenshots, I'm going to keep using this just to go home. And we're going to look for Photos app. The last one there is the screenshot. Now you can tell it's a screenshot because when you tap it, you have all of those photo editing tools up the top. Back into the device, more. Um, multitasking. Multitasking, instead of doing the four finger swipe up, so if I come out of that and with my four fingers going up, will give me the multitasking bar, which lets me choose between apps and close apps down. Now it's quite difficult to get your fingers to do that. So this will do, a, it, it takes more, more steps to get there. It's the, uh, the only issue. So I have to go into device and more multitasking will open it for you. What we did before was create a gesture for that. That's still going to take three steps. There's four finger up there. Now it's giving me those four dots. So if I position those down here and let go, that's going to open up the multitasking bar. So whichever way you feel comfortable. Uh, you can shake your device. So some of the games you have to shake your device to actually um, reset it. That will shake it. There are gestures there. So if you want, uh, if you need four fingers, 
and tap that one and it'll actually give you the four fingers so instead of us creating that gesture before I could have just done that and move those fingers down there and drag them up uh, to get the notifications bar down you have to drag it down with the finger near the, uh, the time uh, if you create a custom gesture favorites this is a flick down and position the the little blue circle over the time and it will drag it down for you then hit that home to to uh, take the circle away if you want to flick up up position that and take it away now to turn off assistive touch remember it's still on because the, the white circle is there and I'm at the lock screen so either I can slide to unlock myself or I can use my gesture going into favorites and I'm going to swipe right so to turn it off triple click the home button and then I can deselect assistive touch to turn it off so that's quicker than going into settings and general accessibility assistive touch and turning it on and off much quicker to do the triple click on the home button so triple click now turn it off and you can see it turned off here if I triple click it now the menu comes off if you watch that button up here as soon as I select it it turns it on in the next video take a look at the vision options for accessibility on the iPad